uh, hello everyone so in the previous video we have written the order controller and uh, I have also covered the order service but somehow the, my recorder was not working so I have to repeat that whole statement again so all these APIs we have written this these are the two APIs for the order so we will be covering the order controller and order service and these are the APIs for the product module and product controller we are going to write product controller product service product module order controller order service order module and the DTOs also like order DTO and product DTO when you are creating the order and when you are creating the order creating order and product okay so we have these three entities order schema model product and user so user we have already seen in a user service we are injecting inject model and accessing the user model similarly in the product service we will be injecting the product model in the same for the order model in this application we have shared model we have the auth model you can say and then we have order model product model so in the root module the main module we are going to inject all these modules together so that all can be bootstrapped okay currently we just have a auth model and a shared model okay so we have already created an order controller in this video we are going to create an order service i will just go through it what i have what all i have written so this is the order controller we were talking about two different apis in the order controller first is get all my orders and create my order and we already discussed that once user is logged in using this guard this guard is actually providing the logged in user data in the request.user so I'm just use I created my custom annotation annotation user and this annotation user will give me the current logged in user and I'm just directly instead of passing this user I'm directly getting the ID using destructuring from that object okay so we have two different routes get all my orders and uh, create a new order for me right it is accepting the DTO so create product DTO product will have just a product share product and quantity this is my order controller the important thing is now from the order controller we are uh, in the order controller we are injecting order service and out inside order service if we just see we are injecting the order model so it's the same concept in the user service in the shared module you might have seen that uh, this is my shared and user service we are injecting the user module user model and we are accessing this dot user dot model dot find one find by id find by id and update find by id and delete all these methods you can execute similarly in the order service we are injecting the order module okay and i'm doing the same thing order module dot find now get all my orders so i already have my own id so what i will do is give uh, i'm just doing a find operation so it will just find that particular owner so if you just see the model of order order model has an owner so I'm just matching okay I'm just passing some ID which is matching with this owner so give me all the product for that owner and populate the owner also and the products so same thing I'm doing here first find based on the condition then populate owner and also populate the product and products product dot product this is population is just the same uh, you just provide a reference and then you can using dot populate you can populate that entity this is about get all my orders so wherever I see my ID is there in the order schema I will get uh, that row that collection document okay we are not going to use a row column table here we are talking about the MongoDB so everything is a collection and a document okay and okay here create my order so create my order is another way here I am creating a new order so first I will be creating an entry inside a order schema order collection so order so what order you will have order will have owner id and the product information that's it and i'm doing a order model dot create if i will get the uh, object i'm getting id from there and i'm just fetching the information now doing the same thing uh, i'm doing a find by id where id equal to this id i mean owner matching with this id so if you already have a id so always take care of this so this find method if i do a find here dot find in that case you have to explicitly provide a key and value which you are matching okay but if you are using find by id find by id and update find by id and delete it means you just need to provide the id underscore id for this particular query so i'm just passing the id and i'm populating the owner and product information so plain and simple 
here uh, for API spec I have created this DT also it is having this much property so this is my order service so I created order controller and order service now what I did is I just copy paste these things into the product because product controller uh, product module also going to be the same thing like this is the order module I have important thing is in this order module what I'm going what I'm using is I'm using the order entity order model mongoose model so I have to just write mongoose model dot four feature this will enable me to inject order model inside a services and I am just using shared module so what I did I just copy this and pasted it in the product module and I just did renames so here instead of order I will be using product product schema which we already have product controller product service so same thing we will be writing the product controller it's currently empty and product service in the next video thanks everyone